it is the last day of September and I am on the road to Limberlost. Uh, the drive here has been absolutely stunning, gorgeous fall colors everywhere you look and uh, I'm looking to have a nice chill weekend uh, before my big uh, Thanksgiving trip next weekend and uh, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I was a little bit worried about finding my way, but everything is marked and labeled so well here. Um, I am staying on campsite number 20 on McReynolds Lake. Uh, there are two campsites only on that lake and I am lucky enough to have one of them. So uh, off we go. All right, I am here. This is my campsite. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. I was going to drive and look at the other one. Maybe I'll just walk. Um, so my car's here. I brought the pack canoe with me because I've got access to a lake. And there's my own little private outhouse. So it's all like, uh, just like pine and mulch and stuff on the, the ground. There's a fire pit there. There's a little fire pit there. Well, it's a fire pit ring. Oh, it's smoking. Whoever was here didn't put it out. Somebody must have just left not that long ago. Um, beautiful picnic table over there in the trees. And look at all these mushrooms. How cool is this? Look at them all. There's like hundreds of them. Holy smokes. How cool. All right. And then we've got the lake right here. And this is uh, really pretty. Look at this. Beautiful view of the fall colors. Uh, we'll probably just have to bring the canoe down here, it looks like. A little tiny water access. We like to keep the sights back off the water so that, you know, when you're on the water, it's not like you don't just see people everywhere, which is perfect. Um, yeah. That's my little, my little launch. Looks like there's quite a current going to the, ooh, <laughs> to the left. Um, the sucky muck. Somebody put some boards down. I'm only wearing my flip flops. They just came from work. Um, there's the canoe there. I wonder if that's where the other campsite is. I think that's the canoe. It's green, so it's perfect. I'm really excited. I'm going to set up my tent. It's very chilly. It's supposed to go down to feels like three degrees by five or six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Um, I have my big princess tent, uh, my nine by 13, and uh, I brought my cot. Um, so I'm going to be like living in luxury here this weekend. Um, so I'm pretty stoked. I am chilly though, so I'm gonna get moving. It's about 5.30 on uh, September 30th. Uh, it's Thursday, I'm here Thursday night and Friday night. Uh, we're supposed to get 10 to 15 millimeters of rain on Saturday, it's like 80 POP or something. And then Sunday is supposed to rain too. It's actually supposed to start raining around midnight on uh, Friday night. So I'm gonna wake up to rain on Saturday. Um, fairly sheltered here at least. I did bring my tarp, but I don't know if I'm gonna set it up, we'll see. Um, anyways, I'm gonna get moving. I'm so excited to be here. It's so beautiful. I forgot how big this tent was and I have not set it up in so long. Um, I actually did my first winter camp in this tent uh, at Mew Lake. Put a space heater in it and uh, had a cod in it and it was great. Um, I just have two of the poles set up. I still need to set up the other poles that push it this way, but it's not too bad. All right, I don't even know if these are gonna work or if I'm gonna be able to keep them, but um, I'm on my iPad. Uh, I brought it in case I wanted to uh, stay in bed tomorrow morning and watch a movie because it's supposed to be feels like three. And uh, I thought, why not have some luxuries? I'm car camping. Um, I was setting up my tent and I guess at some point I dropped my phone. I remember dropping the phone, but it's in a case. I wasn't really even worried about it. I put it in my pocket. Um, I went to go take a picture and a video um, after I set up my tent, which is over here. And the bottom of my phone, the screen is cracked. I can only use the side buttons and the home button. I can't use any buttons on the screen. I thought I would try to turn the phone off um, so that I could reset it maybe and that would help. Um, but that only locked my phone. 
So now I can't put the passcode in because the passcode is on the screen and um, I can't put anything on the screen. I can't touch nothing on the screen works. Uh, I can't take photos, I can't take videos. Um, I'm trying to get Siri to call Rogers. Uh, there's one in Huntsville, which is about a half an hour away. And uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna end up spending the entire day tomorrow at the Rogers store and then I have to just come up here, come back here and pack up my stuff and go home on Saturday. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I need my phone, obviously. Um, I need to take pictures and videos because um, that's what I wanted to do here. Uh, it's fall, it's beautiful, and uh, there's a gorgeous sunset happening, so I'm going to take them with this, and hopefully I can get them off of this, and it works, and I have enough room to put a few pictures and videos, and uh, it's like 7 o'clock, i got to make dinner. Um, I brought a hamburger, I was going to cook on the fire, but now that I've been spending all this time doing this, um, I actually brought my barbecue, again, I'm car camping, so why not? Uh, so I'm going to cook my hamburger on the barbecue, and I'm going to eat, and uh, I'm going to sit here and try to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, and uh, beautiful sunset here. I'm going to go take some videos of that right now. Alright, this is the scene on McReynold Lake. It is absolutely stunning. Um, beautiful pink clouds. They are just gorgeous. And uh, they're reflecting really nicely in the water. Um, it's actually showing better in the water than it is in the sky. But it is there. And uh, I also have some noisy ducks joining me today. I wish this would come in. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That's what it looks like in person. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's 20 after 7, and uh, I just saw something in the water, so I thought I'd come down here. There's a big beaver swimming in the water. I don't know if you can see it. I guess I can't zoom on this. Should be happy I'm getting video at all. <laughs> it's a pretty good sized beaver. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a challenging night for me. All right, it is 7.28, and this is the scene here um, at Limberlost. Uh, I can hear all kinds of stuff moving around in the forest. Um, there's my tent. It's really big. Uh, here, I'll show you. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to download this or upload it or anything, but I'm trying. I haven't finished my bed yet. I know I usually do it first, but it's like I'm hungry. I got my backpack there. I just brought it because it has all the things in it already anyways. I got a chair set up over there so I could sit and read. little table. And then uh, I brought uh, two sleeping bags and a blanket because it's supposed to be three degrees. And I like to be warm. So that's all set up there. And then uh, I'm definitely going to have a fire because what else am I going to do? Um, and then over here I've got my cooler. Um, I actually did bring... Uh, Malibu and some tonic and uh, I think I, I think I should have a drink <laughs> I definitely need one there's my broken phone uh, sitting there hanging out um, and uh, I've got the barbecue on I just put some mayonnaise on my burger I brought a tomato and some uh, two-year-old cheddar and uh, I'm just gonna cook my burger up it's right here I'll throw that on and cook uh, my burger. I'm just waiting for it to heat up a bit. And uh, that's about that. I'm going to bring a side or anything, which is good because it's pretty late. Um, I have snacks, though, and chocolate, so there's probably going to be some chocolate consumed, too. Well, it's 7.41. My burger's on. It's cooking. Uh, got all the stuff here. Some uh, two-year-old cheddar and some tomato. I got a little bit of mayo on my bun, and... Uh, it's already like dark, pitch dark out here. All right, I got a nice little fire going quite quickly. Um, just uh, got my burger off the grill. It's about five after eight. I'm hungry. I um, have a nice drink here. This is uh, I'm just using the bottle. Uh, it makes it easy when you're camping if you have a nice lid. Um, keeps all the stuff out. Uh, it's a nice generous portion of coconut rum mixed with some uh, tonic water and loganberry 
and uh, I'm going to sit here by the fire and warm myself up and uh, eat my burger. It's 8.30. I ate my hamburger. I didn't eat the whole thing. I just, I'm not even in the mood to eat. I'm going to drink my drink, though. I'm sitting here by the fire. It's over there somewhere. And uh, I just put all my stuff in the car. I got uh, went down to the lake and got some water for uh, my hot water bottle, which I'm definitely using tonight. I've got my Patagonia on already and my toque. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see my breath already. I don't know what the temperature is because I have no internet on my iPad. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this fire and have my drink and... Uh, Listen to nothing. It's super, super quiet out here. Every once in a while you hear like uh, like a couple of branches crack in the forest or something moving around, but other than that, super, super quiet. I love it. Well, it's about uh, quarter after 11. I'm super tired. I only slept five hours last night, but I'm just sitting here by the fire and it's so warm. And when I walk away from the fire, it's cold. And then I just like come right back. <laughs> I've got my pot of water sitting here and uh, I just haven't been able to put it on there yet. Um, also there's something walking around in the forest over here. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Probably it's a chipmunk but it sounds like a decent size. Maybe it's a deer. I don't know. I've already seen a beaver here and a blue jay. That's pretty good. Um, anyways, yeah. Just chilling. All right, I'm just in the uh, princess glamping tent. <laughs> uh, I got my bed all set up there with the sleeping bag and the wool blanket. Um, it's folded over twice as well. And uh, my hot water bottle is inside there, warming up my bed. Uh, got my big monster toque out. I love, I love having a nice warm head when I'm sleeping, especially when it's cold. It makes me warm. Um, I got my smart wool socks out. And uh, my fleece tights that I like to sleep in. Um, yes, I brought a little table. <laughs> I'm car camping. Why not? Uh, I got my little booties for winter camping um, that I brought. And I figure I'll just wear those like if I have to run out to go to the bathroom. And uh, yeah, over on this side, the other side, I've just got a chair. Uh, my winter jacket at the ready if I need to grab it in the morning. Um, and my backpack and a bunch of stuff. I got a, a day bag in case I want to go hiking. I actually didn't really need anything out of the backpack, but um, it's just got things that I always use when I'm camping, so I just thought it would be better to have it. Good night! I hear something splashing in the water. What was that? I gotta go peek out my window. At six o'clock in the morning, I'm in my tent and I just heard a wolf howl really loudly. It's not that far away. Um, hopefully I can catch it on video. Like, at least the sound. I hear so many things walking around in the water, but it's too dark to see anything yet. All right, it's just going on uh, seven o'clock here and uh, Got enough light now to get out on the water. Um, there's a family of geese just over here. And uh, I'm not sure how far I can go. I do have a hard copy of the map in my car. I have a couple of them printed out. I always bring them just in case something happens to my phone, haha. -ha. Well, my friend the beaver is back. Um, it's going across the water here. And uh, there's a beaver dam actually right here, very close to my campsite. And I think it's heading there. It doesn't seem to be disturbed by me at all. So hopefully I can get a, a little closer shot of him. Probably can't even see him in the uh, video right now. Uh, Mr. Beaver has disappeared, unfortunately. And uh, there's some fog actually rolling in. There's also a family of ducks over there. I'm gonna paddle over there next. Some nice colors here on this uh, maple tree. Another one over here. The ducks got freaked out and they took off. I don't know if you can see the fog. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> My campsite is over there. 
Um, this was all clear when I got on the water, and now it's all fogging over. <laughs> well, right across from my campsite, um, there's an opening, and it looks like it might go into another lake. Um, I remember on the map there were a whole bunch of little waterways, but you couldn't really tell if they went through or not. Um, so I'm going to take a peek through here and uh, see if I can see anything cool. Ooh, I just got the iPad sitting on my lap with my knees up. I was grabbing all my stuff to get ready to get in the boat and I'm like, oh, what do I need? What am I missing? I'm like, oh, my selfie stick. <laughs> like, not much I can do with that with an iPad. Oh, there's another massive beaver dam. This one's really big. Um, I guess that's why, that's why there's all the beavers. I see a duck or something over in the water. It's really foggy here. But uh, I seem to be able to get through, so I'm going to keep exploring and see what I can find. Really enjoying this. Boy, oh boy, am I glad I brought this iPad. I wouldn't be getting any of this. I hear a waterfall. Let's go see what it is. It's quite noisy, but it's not really anything special. It's just uh, the water going down here. I can't get uh, too close to it, but that's about it. I'm going to paddle back into the uh, main part of the lake and then go in the other direction, see if I can go anywhere there. It's so pretty here with the fog. Just gorgeous. It looks like I maybe can get through here, um, but it looks like there's a lot of sucky muck. Uh, there's also a family of geese here <laughs> uh, who aren't too happy that I'm here and they're kind of blocking the other way that I might be able to get through so I'm gonna try to go through here and see if I can get through. Well, I made it through, I had to pull the paddle apart a few times and do uh, ski canoeing but um, I also I guess disturbed a beaver over there and uh, he slapped his tail but I missed that too. <laughs> Looks like this opens up to another lake, so uh, I'm going to keep paddling and see what I can find. Oh, there's a beaver dam blocking my way um, over here. Normally I would just, you know, do my thing like I'm tripping, jump out and um, pull the canoe over, but I'm not really dressed for it. I just have my little duckies on. I do have my rubber boots here, uh, which would be perfect for this. Um, but I will do that at another time. All right, it's eight o'clock. Um, I'm going to start getting myself ready to head out to Huntsville. Um, I'm assuming if I leave at like 8.30, I'll get there just around nine o'clock. Hopefully the store opens then. And um, hopefully I can get another phone today and everything is right as rain and it doesn't take all day. Fingers crossed. Well, it's 1.30 on uh, Friday, October 1st. And uh, I'm back at Limberloft. So I'm just making my lunch. Um, I left here about 8.30 this morning. I went to the Rogers store in Huntsville. It didn't open till 10, so I went to a diner and had some breakfast. I couldn't get onto any of my social media because I didn't have my passwords in um, my iPad and I didn't have them with me. So that was a bust. Um, then I went back to the Rogers store around 10.30 and um, they didn't have any phones that were bigger than mine. The guy suggested to go to Eye Repair in Bracebridge and see if they could fix it. I did, they did, and I'm back and I'm on my phone now. Uh, I'm gonna hike this trail, take some videos and pictures, and then I'm gonna head back to my campsite and chill for the next, rest of the day. So i um, super excited to be able to do this. So I'm hoping to have lunch at the lookout. Um, so I'm gonna pack up my stuff and head out. I just uh, went in my cooler here, uh, made myself a salami sandwich, uh, I've got some Jolly Ranchers, a granola bar, some chocolate covered almonds and an apple. I've um, just got my pack here, I'm going to pack this stuff up and I'm going to head out on the trail. Alright, I'm at the trailhead here, I'm going to be going here to the Echo Rock Lookout, not very far. Um, so let's get started, off we go. I've only done the solitaire trail once, um, the entire loop, 
and uh, it was in the spring, I believe, when there was still snow on the ground. Um, I wanted to do it again today. Um, I was going to go paddling this morning. Uh, I brought some French toast to make, and um, I was going to have that, and then I was going to go hiking for the afternoon um, and do the whole trail, but because I had to go get my phone fixed today, um, I didn't want to do the whole trail. I just decided, like, I didn't want to be out on the trails between 2 and 6 or whatever. Like, it's a, it's a bit of a long trail. It takes a few hours. Um, so, I thought this was a great um, second choice. It's a little lookout here, just at the start of the trail. And, uh, this is a nice boardwalk. I really like what they've done here. Um, I was reading on the website the other day about Limberlost and uh, I guess it all started as a bunch of cottagers and uh, they built all of this stuff. Um, they made the campsites, they made the roads, the trails, everything. And uh, set up this really cool place um, for us to visit. And uh, I think it's really nice. I'm really grateful for them for doing that. Look at this amazing boardwalk. Cool. Lots of leaves changing colors already here today. It smells absolutely amazing out here. Um, there's a lot of cedar trees and uh, oh, it smells wonderful. I wish I could just push it through the screen for you guys. So awesome. I've quickly uh, gotten to the 1K mark already. Um, it says it's five and a half kilometers if I go back through the uh, Dan Bauer route. Um, I'm probably just going to retrace my steps, um, which I'm good with. Uh, nice little opening here. Beautiful uh, red Muskoka chairs sitting on a dock with the leaves surrounding it. Uh, really pretty. So when I realized that I was going to be able to come back and hike a trail today, I was so excited. Um, I grabbed uh, the printouts that I made and uh, took a look at where the trailhead was because there are trails all over Limberlost. My campsite is actually about 15, I think it took 15 or 20 minutes to get from the campsite to the front um, because you have to drive really slow. It's a one lane road. So I pulled over and took a look and this trailhead where I parked my car is actually 400 meters before the gate. I parked at the trailhead right here. I haven't even been in the gates or back to the campsite. I have my clothes with me in the car. Um, I'm not wearing my hiking boots, but I'm wearing my Keens. I call them my duckies. I wear them in the fall when the, the weather gets wet. Well, according to the trail description I have from the website, it says there's a steep, steep hill on the way up to the lookout. Um, I've come up to a hill. It's not crazy steep, but I guess it would depend on if you had a canoe on your head or not. Um, what you would classify it as. Uh, so up I go. A lot of leaves on the ground here already. Uh, we had a lot of rain last week. And uh, I think some of the leaves just couldn't hang on. <sighs> it just seems to be my thing. Never have too much sucky muck. <laughs> I have arrived at the Echo Rock Lookout and uh, I'm super excited to see it. Turn around the phone so you can see too. Oh, it feels like a tomogamy portage. <laughs> Go, folks. Absolutely gorgeous. And the sky picked this time to cloud over. <laughs> well, it's uh, about 20 after 2, and uh, I'm just sitting here at the lookout.
Don't look down, it's steep. My legs get a little shaky when I do that. <laughs> well, it's almost three o'clock. Uh, I had my lunch. I had some chocolate covered almonds. Uh, a couple more people came by. I talked them into coming down. Uh, they didn't want to come down. I was like, come on down, you gotta look. It's beautiful. I'm gonna make my way back uh, out into my car and then head back over to my campsite. Well, it's about a uh, quarter after three, and uh, stuff to take a few pictures and stuff, and videos, of course. What else is new? Uh, just about at the end of the trail and back to my car. It's huge. It goes all the way over me, and it's leaning on another tree. Unbelievable. It's massive. There's my hand. I have to take like eight steps back before I can even get the whole thing in there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful trail. All right, it's quarter after four. I'm back at camp. Uh, just put the barbecue back out. I'm not sure I'm going to use the barbecue or cook on the fire. Um, I might just use the barbecue. Uh, I have a piece of salmon for dinner. Um, and I brought some mustard and some brown sugar uh, to coat it with and uh, I'm gonna cook it like that and then I uh, just brought uh, two potatoes I'm not sure if I'll slice them up and uh, make them that way or if I'll make a baked potato the sun's kind of coming and going it's really really pretty here on the lake and uh, I've got my beverage out from yesterday no I didn't finish it I'm just not that good at drinking I guess uh, but it's there now and I have some more out in case I want some more and uh, that's about it tents back there canoes down by the water I just reorganized everything in the car so that I can uh, pack like the barbecue and stuff at the back and then I can shut the car up and I can put the canoe on the car tonight oh believe it or not I put on my long sleeve thermal I've got uh, my other shirt over top, I have a, got a tank top on, and I've got on these really thick sweatpants that I wear at home a lot. I wanted to bring them because I was like, oh, I'm glamping, and I'm still chilly. So um, I'm gonna have a fire for most of the night, so I'm just gonna come down here. I've got the chair with me, and uh, I'm just gonna come down here and sit by the water. This is so much nicer. I'm I'm not hot by any means, but um, I don't really have the chill anymore, so that's great. It's 5.30 and I'm just sitting here in my little slice of the forest. My neighbors have arrived. Uh, I think it's two young girls um, um, and two dogs. Um, I definitely know there's dogs over there. Um, I heard them barking quite a lot and uh, a lot of screeching and giggling and stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, I gotta go up and make dinner, but I really don't want to move. Alright, I got a little fire going. <laughs> it's six o'clock already. I don't know where the time goes, but I did do a lot today, so uh, I'm gonna get the potatoes. I think I'm just going to um, slice them up and put some oil and some garlic and stuff on them and roast them on the fire. Well, what's going on? <laughs> I am making dinner. Um, the potato is wrapped in foil. I pricked it a few times with a fork and uh, I stuck it right down in the coals. So I'm hoping it doesn't take too long to cook. Mm. Cheers. Um, so I got my piece of salmon here. It is not frozen. There was still ice around it, but inside it was defrosted. So it's still cold though. So I brought some um, mustard. Usually I use uh, male Dijon. Put the mustard on there. 
This is one of my favorite ways to make at home. I make a lot of salmon at home. Um, salmon's really good for colitis and um, a lot of health things. It's got a, a high, high amount of omega-3 in it, which is uh, really good for me, so. And then in here I have some brown sugar. I'm gonna put it in this little pan just to keep it, keep a good control of it and uh, give it something solid to sit on. And then I'm just gonna close it up because it needs like to cook all around. It's a pretty thick piece of salmon, so um, I just wanna make sure it cooks through nicely and evenly. And uh, this should help it do that. Just gotta keep it off the mustard and that's about it. I'm gonna stick it on the fire just like that on the grill. I am definitely not licking this fork. <laughs> to those of you who know how I do dishes, no, it's not happening. <laughs> well, I was quite certain that I was gonna wait um, about three hours for that potato. It wasn't really cooking very well. And um, so I sliced it up and then I sliced up half of the other one because I like a lot of potatoes. Um, I cut them a decent thickness so they should even out with the salmon but we'll see the salmon is um, already on the well it's been on the grill and it's sizzling away so it should be good um, I just lifted up the fire a little bit I just put uh, a rock in there um, and put the piece of wood up on top of it so it would like be a little bit closer to the potatoes um, they really need to get cooking so um, hopefully this will help fire is going good now so that's good all right just check the potatoes they're looking good there's a wolf howling I think oh, shit. there it is sounds like a person now all right it's 7 30 and uh, my salmon is definitely cooked I think I overcooked it but I had to put the canoe on the car I was trying to do it before it got too dark uh, which I succeeded in um, and my potatoes look delicious so I'm gonna put this on a plate and I'm gonna eat all right there's my dinner it looks absolutely delicious I'm gonna go eat before it gets cold well, last night I heard an owl just before I went to bed and I can hear him hooting away now. I tried really, really hard, but I couldn't finish it all. I'm so full. I wanted to make a dessert wrap. I got the grill on still and the fire's going nice, but it's like quarter to eight and I'm jam packed. So I might have a hot chocolate with Bailey's in it though. I think I have room for some liquid, just a little. <laughs> Baileys and hot chocolate by the fire. Oh, this is lovely. I'm in heaven. Oh yeah, life is good. Cheers everybody. That's good. There's a lot of Baileys in there, but man, that's good. Cheers. Probably gonna sit here for another hour or so, um, and then I'll slowly make my way to my tent, um, trying to put away as much as I can into the car because it's supposed to be raining all day tomorrow, and uh, it's really crappy packing up in the rain. So, figured if I can do it now, I might as well. I'm loving this cot. I miss sleeping on it. It's so comfortable. I was so comfortable last night sleeping. Um, except my wool blanket kept sliding off, so I just tucked it under the thermarest uh, a little bit on either side, so hopefully that keeps it from falling off. Um, I usually only use the cot when I'm either doing something like this, which is very rare, uh, or when I winter camp in the big hot tent. Uh, or actually, the small one I've used it too if I'm car camping, so uh, it's just nice and cozy. 
Anyway, um, it's nice temperature. I'm super comfortable. It's about quarter after 11. I'm really tired. All right, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. Well, it's pretty nice to have one of these in the pouring rain. <laughs> well, good morning. It is five after seven and it is raining as forecast. Um, it started around 5 a.m. Um, it's not raining super heavy, but then again, I have all of these beautiful trees covering me, uh, which is great. And I also have a giant golf umbrella because <laughs> I'm car camping, so why not? <laughs> It is about 8 o'clock on Saturday, October 2nd. Um, just starting to pack up my stuff. It's not going to take me very long. Um, I just have a few things kind of scattered all over. I've got my little table there. I just have to pull the legs off. And uh, the thermarest has to be rolled up and the cot has to be folded up and put back in its bag. Um, it is raining, raining, raining this morning. Um, it's not too heavy and I do have the, the cover of the trees to help out. Um, I'm going to... Uh, pack up the car, I'll put everything in the car, and then just take the tent down. It's probably going to take me a bit to do that because I'm not used to this tent. Um, but other than that, it shouldn't take me too long. And uh, then I'm going to head to Canis Bay uh, in Algonquin to visit my friend Gail. Um, I had a wonderful time here. Um, it would have been much, much better if I hadn't have broken my phone on Thursday night. but. Uh, that all got resolved fairly quickly yesterday morning, so I'm really happy with how that worked out. And I did continue to film um, and take pictures on my iPad. Uh, I apologize, the quality of those clips might not be as good as the rest of the video, um, but at least I got some stuff. I had a beautiful sunset Thursday night, so I hope that that came out okay and that I can transfer that all to the computer and everything's fine. Um, Loving the campsites here at Limberlost. Um, I really, really, really liked coming here. It was kind of like um, I described on my way in, backcountry glamping car camping. Um, this campsite is one of two on McReynolds Lake. So it's very quiet. It's very remote, even though it's car camping. And um, like I said, it was kind of like taking my car to a backcountry site, which was nice. Anyways, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and uh, thanks for watching the adventure. I know it's not my normal thing. Uh, next video series will be uh, my Thanksgiving trip in Killarney, so I hope you enjoy that. And uh, lots more videos and adventures to come year-round. I hope you enjoy my channel, and you keep watching, and you subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications. Thanks. Well, the rain has been, like, super light all morning. I've got everything in the car. I just have to take the tent down. I just started taking the tent down and now it's pouring. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.